Hello. I'm just going to cover how you pair the uh, Bulldog Valve Robot with uh, Smart Things. All right, so we have the Bulldog here mounted on a uh, one and a quarter inch uh, ball valve, and I've, I don't have the Smart Things hub here in front of me, but it's here. Uh, it's probably uh, I don't know. 40 or 50 feet away. In some pairing processes they ask you to um, bring the devices closer together within a few feet. That's not really necessary with the uh, the Bulldog uh, valve robot, but if you do have trouble you might want to bring the devices closer together because you know there could be interference between other electronic devices. But generally I haven't had a problem you know having the thing uh, you know 50 to you know even 100 feet away it still seems to pair fine. All right so the first thing I'm going to cover is the um, the LED status. It's a bit hard to tell when this lighting but right now that LED is on meaning that the valve is on or open and that the device is paired. Um, when the uh, EBC 200 uh, control module when it's not paired it's flashing so what it does is it flashes uh, blinks slowly uh, when it's not paired and you can and it also still indicates if it's open or closed by a long on or a long off as part of the blink so right now it is already paired to my uh, smart things but it's a good rule to always uh, exclude a device when you're when you're getting a new device it's always a good idea to exclude it first before you pair it so let's go through that process here uh, I've got my uh, smart things here so I'll just go into smart things and I'm going to go to the hub and go to Z-Wave Utilities and I'm going to do a general device exclusion. So I'm going to hit remove here and then I'm going over and hitting the button very quickly four or more times. And you should be able to hit it quick enough so that it doesn't actually start the stroke. So here goes. And it's going to happen very quickly so I'll just zoom out so you can see both things. There, so you can see that was successful. So I can hit done there. So now let's remove the device. And you should, be, I'm trying to see, so you should be able to see that it's uh, blinking slowly and it's on longer than it's uh, off, which means that it has been unpaired and it's uh, on. But it's unpaired now because it's blinking slowly. All right. All right, so now I'm going to go back and I'm going to add a thing just a generic you don't have to add it as a specific thing alright so now it's looking for a new device the, uh, the LED is blinking slowly and I'm going to give it uh, four you really only need three but I always try to do four because in case I missed one so if you do extra it doesn't matter so here goes I'm going to click it quickly alright so now it's still it's blinking faster to show it's looking so it's looking and it's found it now this has stopped blinking up oh, and there we go you can see it showed up here sometimes there's a delay between it actually you know showing that it's been found here with the LED and the status on the smart things um, you know it might be 10 or 20 seconds so you know, be patient when this stops blinking. Anyway, it's found it, so I can save it. And it's there, and it's going to show up as a Z-Way switch in a second here. Z-Way switch. And uh, you can change the description, of course, uh, to, you know, your water main or valve or whatever you want to call it. And it's even possible to have smart things see it as a valve device, but we like to leave it as a switch because it works better for uh, local control. Which so that if there's no internet connection, it uh, still works. Um, but that means when you see it as a switch, that means you can't use the standard smart things routines to uh, for the you know the smart things leak routine. And what you do is you use a lighting routine. 
and it works just as well and then you use a separate routine for notification we feel that's a better way to uh, set it up so I'll just uh, see it working here so Z-Wave switch I'll just you can see it's doing its thing And that's it.